Today my adventures bring me to Wilkes County, North Carolina and more importantly this is the North Wilkesboro Motor Speedway. As you can see the old signage up there on the building the Winston Cup Series of NASCAR used to run at this track. I'm going to talk to you about what my plans are today as we do a little vlogging in and around Wilkesboro in the foothills of the mountains and we might creep up into the mountains a little bit. And good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is kind of a cool thing for me is to come here and visit the North Wilkesboro Motor Speedway area. Uh, if you don't keep up with NASCAR at all or keep up with the history of this racetrack that was closed in 1996, um, they've never really been a whole lot of racing here since 1996. A brief stint in 2010-2011, they had a little bit of a modified series that was running here. But the state of North Carolina actually gave this track $18 million to do a refurbishment plan which would open this track again for uh, some racing and events and things like that. Not so sure if NASCAR is going to come back here, but some racing is better than no racing. So uh, today, we're gonna. I just wanted to start my vlog off here to kind of show this track off. I wanted to come up here and kind of see um, what kind of changes have been made. Have they started the renovation project yet? And I think they have. There, there's actually, you know, some machinery back over here in this area, and they was like a two-story building over there for the for the uh, the roof, the structure had started falling in and kind of caving in on itself. And they've definitely cleared that off. We have another dump truck here for hauling things off. Uh, they not yet started on this end. As you can see, I turn the camera around where you can check it out. See if we can zoom in. You can actually see some of the roof falling in on a structure down there. I think that's entering turn one here at the racetrack. So it was very similar to that, but a little bit worse. As I pan over here to this side, this is actually, I think, the turn four area. So the building right there in the middle of the screen was the one I was referring to. It was really caving in bad. I ain't been here in about two years. It's nice to come up here every now and then, take pictures, and just check out this old racetrack. So let's get into our plans for today. We definitely want to uh, take a ride up into the mountains, look at some roadside attractions. I have a few things of mine I'm looking for, and uh, just have a little, just a nice little uh, ride around today. So, uh, if you will, come with me as we do a little bit exploring in the mountains. Let's look for some cool roadside attractions and oddities and things of that nature. Alright guys, uh, I found my next stop. You gotta stop and check this out. This is a sandwich shop here in Wilkes County. It's right off of uh, Highway 16 and it's actually an igloo. I mean, how cool is that, right? You don't see a shop like this every day. So it's actually the Igloo Sandwich Shop. All right, guys, I just went into the Igloo. I actually went in to just buy a drink for my trip up into the mountains and do her vlogging those women in there they're a really good salesman they totally talked me into buying a hot dog so here is the hot dog she said this is what they're kind of known for is their hot dog so i got it this is there all the way it's got like lettuce mustard i think a little mayo and uh, homemade chili on it i told him to hold onions because i'm not a huge fan of onions so we're going to dig into this all right here we go bon appetit right off the bat they're chili when she said they make it themselves you can tell it this is not out of a can this chili is so good on this hot dog and the slaw is really good not super mayo-y but uh just enough mixture but the chili is what makes this a home run for me really really like it so if you ever come to this little igloo stop get you a nice cold drink maybe try one of their hot dogs they got a lot of other sandwiches there they got burgers all kinds of stuff so uh let's move on to our next spot this is uh this is fun already because i'm getting to eat so win-win for me all right everyone i just uh 
devoured my hot dog and I definitely gave half of it to my wife where she could taste it and it, she loved it too. The chili is amazing. But I did want to give you a little fact about this place. It's, it's a family owned restaurant and the lady's uh, father actually started this restaurant 46 years ago. So this little igloo has been here for quite a while and uh, it's definitely got some staying power. You come here and try one of their dogs and get the chili on it. It's amazing. Their slaw, all that stuff's homemade. It's really, really good. But um, I told her about my channel a little bit, and she gave me a menu. And they have all kinds of stuff. They have like a grilled chicken club, grilled chicken, hamburger, cheeseburgers, all that good stuff. A double igloo burger, which she said was uh, quite large. So uh, they don't serve breakfast no more or anything. Uh, they got a lot of different sides, like jalapeno poppers and uh, cheese fries, things of that nature foot long hot dog is like six dollars and fifty cents and the regular hot dog i got today that i tried that i just loved was two dollars and thirty five cents so if you're in the area you might want to stop by and uh check out their hot dogs or just get you a sandwich enjoy your time plenty of like uh ice cream in there it's not soft serve it's scooped ice cream so uh that being said we really done at this uh place now so we're going to move on up the road and see what else we can find today all right guys i'm in my next spot we are in historic downtown West Jefferson and they have something really cool here I think you might like so as we're here in historic West Jefferson quite a few placards down through here some pictures of past history mountains of popularity but this is Ash County cheese manufacturing plant right over here across the road and we're going to walk over and we're going to check out this plant so here we are we walked up to the ash county cheese manufacturing plant and they have these big milk tanks out here that are 5,000 gallons a piece and they have uh done a little creative ingenuity here they've been augmented now they look like actually cows so I thought this was kind of neat. You don't see this every day. So their uh, their tanks that hold the milk to make their cheese actually looks like cows. And they are quite large. So right here's the cows. I have a little placard up front. I thought I would show you. The three cows designed by artist Stephen Willingham. Manufactured and installed by the Ash County High School welding class. Instructor Rusty Rogers, May 30th, 2011. Pretty cool that the, the kids at the high school actually did this. Little trade school action going on there. So we actually crossed the street here and we're gonna go into the retail outlet. For the Ash County cheese. So let's give this place a look around. So, right away, they have a lot of stuff in here. Look at all the candies peanut butter turtle, five layer delight bar, mm. a lot of caramel. I love this old-fashioned candy here. You know, they don't have the flavor I prefer, but I like cinnamon. They actually call this the candy corner. And right here in the middle of the store, they have their cheeses and meats. sitting here looking at some of their homemade cheeses they have here and they actually have a smoked ghost pepper cheese they got some uh, habanero habanero cheese buffalo jack I bet that ghost pepper will light you up I think I'm gonna get this the pepper jack I think that's what I'm gonna go with today 
smells really good in here, I can tell you that much. You can smell the fresh cheese. Who cut the cheese? I had to say that bad joke, sorry. <laughs> Got a lot of different uh, honey. Got some honey here with the honeycomb in it. I used to love that as a kid. I take a bite out of that in a heartbeat. Here's some syrups for your pancakes. All kinds of stuff here. Dry rubs for cooking at home on the grill, maybe. They got some Mayberry barbecue sauce. Ooh, I bet that's good. Mayberry barbecue sauce, sweet and tangy. That's probably right up my alley of my type of barbecue sauce. A little heat with some sweetness goes a long way. And they have some uh, ciders back here. A little bit of wine. Never heard of half of these wines before. Now I have heard of this place. We've been there before in the past, the Biltmore House. Some of their wine, pretty good, not bad. They actually, right here in the center of the room, they have a sort of all kind of nuts and like trail mixes that look really good. But there's one that looks pretty delicious, a buffalo stampede. You can see it's got like some kind of buffalo seasoning on it. But this right here, the one called Sweet Heat, that looks amazing. I really think I would enjoy eating that, watching a little television, maybe watching a game or something, snack around. I'd eat that whole thing probably in less than an hour, 30 minutes. So back here in the back of the store, we actually have, they have like their queso dips and things like that. Got some dressings. Right here's some of their queso. Extreme loco cheese dips. A lot of different options. And down here's some of their dressings. There's a chipotle ranch dressing. That might be kind of tasty. Red raspberry vinaigrette. Never in my life have I seen that, but now I have. Check that out. Got some hot salsa, medium. Southern hot chow chow. Here's a funny story. My grandma, man, they used to keep this stuff at their house at all times. Put it on hot dogs and things of that nature. I never really had a taste for it, but they sure as heck loved it. So also guys, I want to show you their uh, Walnut Creek Foods. They have some popcorn back here. It's all flavored popcorn. Got some toffee almond crunch popcorn. Looks pretty good. These are all $5.99 a bag. And then we have some sea salt turtle pecan or pecan, depending on whatever, how you want to pronounce that. Looks pretty good. And that was, if you didn't get the look, that's the uh, toffee almond crunch. Then we have the Buckeye popcorn. Pretty interesting. And then finally, but not least, we have peanut butter crunch. So here we got some sauces. Check this out. We got some fighting cock barbecue sauce. <laughs> sauce for sissies, barbecue sauce. Good for babies, brats, and bikers. <laughs> Check it out, got some white lightning. I don't know, moonshine madness. And then up here we got some more hot sauces. Those are all barbecue sauces. These are your hot sauces. Scorpion pepper, ghost pepper. A bit smokehouse chipotle. That's pretty good stuff. $6.99 for those. And the barbecue sauces are also $6.99. Alright guys, we got our our little snacks and stuff out of the cheese company there so uh let's go see what else we can get into today it's really going to turn into a pretty day the sun's out clearing off a little bit so let's go do this all right friends i'm at our next destination here on highway 18 
right across from Freeborn's Eatery and Lodge, I seen this little building. <laughs> and if you can read some of the signage up there written on it, it's a jail and wedding chapel. And it's very, very tiny, very small place. This is in Laurel Springs. That old door. That is pretty bad on the inside. All that stuff. Look at the ceiling in that place. I don't know if you can make it out if I can get it, but it's really falling in pretty big. But actually, I don't think this was ever a real jail. I think it's just a photo op. It's just a little side road thing. But I just thought that, I seen the humor in that. I thought it was kind of cool. Jail and wed wedding chapel. Pretty neat. And it's just kind of built inside of this building, this uh, this uh, hill here. And got this uh, this old store right across the road. So, uh, that being said, let's move on to the next stop. All right, guys, we're at another destination. This ain't really a roadside attraction, but I think it is worth stopping. We're at a, a pull-off, an overlook. Right here close to Sparta, you can really see the mountain range pretty good. And then way off in the distance, you can see Pilot Mountain, which is uh, a mountain that's just to the north of Winston-Salem, right here in the middle of the screen. And if you ever watch the Andy Griffith show, you always hear about them talk about Mount Pilot. Well, Mayberry would just be like right over in this area or you know the real place mount airy but in the show it's called mayberry and then right here is pilot mountain so just a little fun fact so now you know there it is we're going to move on to our next spot now we're almost there let's go check this next one out i think you're going to like it it's pretty neat all right guys welcome we are here at my final destination of roadside attractions this is just south of uh, Sparta, north of Elkin, North Carolina, right off of Highway 21, and I thought this was quite interesting. So this, this attraction actually has a little bit of a backstory to it, so here we go. We are at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church, and as you can see, we have three churches here, all different in sizes. So the backstory is, at this one over here to the right, the smallest church was the original church. And as the congregation grew over time, they just kept this one open until this one was built and vice versa. So <laughs> it's all the same denominational. It's all the same church, but they just kept the original and then they built one because the congregation grew and then it grew some more and then they built a little bit bigger one and they just kept all three of them so now they 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 still use these other two they just use them um they just have other activities that go on there but everybody obviously meets in the biggest church so uh i thought that was kind of cool cool little find you do not see this every day or at least i don't let me know in the comment section down below if you have any kind of thing like this happening in your neck of the woods if you have like three churches all in a row like that but i've never seen this before and i thought it would just make an interesting little uh video part of this video so so i just want to thank everybody for coming along watching this video today on this little journey around looking at some of the roadside attractions in the wilkesboro over here toward elkin mainly the yakin and wilkesboro uh wilkes county areas uh it was a lot of fun really neat the little even the little wedding chapel slash jail i thought was kind of cool and uh yeah this will this will pretty much wrap it up for me today so if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you like today's content and you thought it was kind of humorous uh give it a thumbs up and uh yeah if you've ever seen any of these places put in the comment section down below if you've been at any of the spots i visited today i'd love to hear from you until next time i'm the hitchhiking yeti and i will see you guys once again in my next adventure